today is my fantasy suite with Joey. It just means like everything's getting really, really serious. Obviously, I'm excited to spend time with Joey, but right now, like my headspace, I just feel like I'm like, I feel like it's not gonna be like the best me today because I'm really emotional today. I keep feeling so deeply for him, and it's just hard for me being away this long. It's weird, it's different, it's uncomfortable. And I could really use some guidance right now from someone who's been through like love and heartbreak. You know, that mom energy. Hello, Daisy. Hi, Sandra. Aren't you the cutest thing? <laughs> I am talking to Sandra today from The Golden Bachelor, mm -hmm. and hopefully she can like give me a woman's perspective about how to go into today. How are you feeling right now? I'm honestly really excited. Okay. Obviously, like, I'm a bit nervous, too. <laughs> but my date's today with Joey, and then potentially going into fantasy suite. Okay. And I'll be really happy to be, like, have that alone time with him. Yes. And see, like, how it is when it's, like, just us. Just the two of you. Yeah. Where are your feelings for him right now? I told him I'm falling in love with him. Falling in love. And I definitely am. OK. Um, it's hard for me when I'm like away from him. Then I think I get kind of in my head and confused because there are two other girls still. But like, like when I'm with him, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm like so in love with him. Right. Has he expressed any particular feelings toward you? When I told him I was falling in love with him, he told me that he feels the same way. Feels the same way. Yeah. OK. And then. I like didn't really know what to expect coming in this because I lost my hearing, so I hear with a cochlear implant. And then for like the last like couple of years, I was like, would want to be with me like with all of this. It was always in the back of my mind, and like I like opened up to him about all of it, and he was so like understanding and like receptive of it, and, like uplifting. I don't know. It's honestly it's completely changed my life, and I look at myself completely different because of it. Excellent. And then when I say that, I'm like, okay, I'm so in love with him. Yeah. Keep those positive thoughts. Yeah. You know, don't, just my advice, don't worry about the others. Yeah. Because just focus it's on not me. even competition with them. Okay. It's the relationship so, you develop yeah. with him and him alone. With him. So they don't care. focus on that. Yeah. Be open. Okay. Be open and be, and for the most part, don't be afraid to talk with Joey. Talk about your expectations, what's in your head. How do you feel? Yeah. Have you expressed most of that to him? Mm-hmm. Good. I probably could do better, like I said, or I know I could do better, but I've been really, like, trying to. Good. Good. So. But don't just talk with Joey. Give it some oomph. Mm. Make it make some oomph. Mm. Right. <laughs> Maybe even make it, you know, sexual oomph. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for us to start practicing making babies or <laughs> something <laughs> like that. I'm telling you, men like that kind okay. of thing. Okay, they really do. Intimacy for men is different than it is for women. Yeah, okay. I'm just giving you an old lady advice. Yes. No, no, excuse no, me, I not old lady, golden lady. I love it, <laughs> I need it. Okay, good. I do feel better. Oh, good, okay, well, at least you're laughing and smiling. Yeah. So why don't we toast to that? Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Daisy's falling in love. Bless her heart, I think she's excited about that. But then the little devil on her shoulder creeped in and said, yes, but there are two other women. And so the message I wanted to impart to her was that she should talk about it. Because whatever happens between her and Joey, I want Daisy to do it from an intelligent, level-headed perspective. And maybe Joey will be impressed. I hope that works. You have such a beautiful smile and spirit. Thank you. Yeah. That means a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you proud of yourself. Don't cry. You look like you're about to tear up. I feel like I'm talking to one of my daughters. <laughs> All right, I want a big hug. <laughs> Thank you so you're much. So Going into my talk with Sandra, I was honestly like really emotional, very in my head. And Sandra kind of flipped my perspective. Literally, like it changed my whole day before I even see Joey. See you soon. Sounds good. Safe travels. Thank you. Sandra brought me back to like, okay, this is what I'm feeling. I am in love. I just have to like be super open about how I'm feeling and just be present in the whole thing. I'm still gonna be nervous, but I feel so much more ready and I can't wait to see what the rest of the day has in store for us. I just wanna like grab it. <laughs>